good afternoon and welcome to this special RSPCA debate. This afternoon we're going to be debating a particularly special issue. Which animal is the most important to humans? We have two teams of competitors here who are going to try and debate and convince each other and you, the audience, that their animal is in fact the most important to humans. On one side of the table we've got Rachel and Anna who are going to argue that dogs are the best. Over here on the other side of the table, we've got Lara and Jess, who are going to convince you that horses are in fact the most important animal to humans. So, without any further ado, I'd like to welcome the first speaker on Team Dog to open the case, please. This house believes that dogs are the best animal because of these reasons. Guide dogs, they're good companions and humans get exercise. Back to my first point, guide dogs. To help blind people have a happier life, guide dogs can make a really big difference to them. My second point, humans get exercise from walking and training their dog around the park on days. So you could throw a ball and they'd have to run and get it and you'd have to run as well. So it could help humans get exercise. And my third point, they're a good companion. E for example, if someone dies or is ill in your family, especially for young children, they can, be, they can really help comfort them and you can talk to them and this is like they're helping you through their tough time. So my three points were guide dogs to help blind people, humans to get exercises and they're good companions for people. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so, but very much to the point speech from Rachel. To open the case for Team Horse, who are we having first? We have Jess, ladies and gentlemen. This house believes that horses are the best animals. <coughs> my first point is a great sport for disabled. My second point is what we would do, what we do with your cars. And my third point, horse media. My first point is a great sport for disabled. If disabled people, they can't do many sports, especially if they're in a wheelchair, and it makes them happy to be able to do a sport. Like Dara's brother here, he can ride horses even though he's disabled and he finds it, he's a lot more happy now he can ride a horse. My second point, what we did with four cars. Four cars, we had horse and carriage, and it made it a lot easier to get round, because it's a lot harder to go around on foot, so we needed horses for yeah, carriage. Right. Yes. You can use cars and buses these days. Yes, but back so then we didn't have cars and buses. Yeah, but th now you, mm -hmm. you said it's harder to walk back then. It's, it's harder to travel now than back then. No, it's harder to travel back then. Oh, and my third point was manure. Us manure helps plants grow. We need plants because they give us oxygen and we couldn't live without them. And a bit later, rebuttal, Rachel. You say that dogs are the best, but they don't always give you a helping hand because they might feel, make you feel more like special because you've got a dog, but sometimes you dog run away, you feel lonely and then you can't really do anything about it. So thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> to respond to Jess's point about horses being most important to humans, and also to advance the case for dogs being more important to humans, we have Anna <laughs> that dogs are the most important animals for humans because homeless people police dogs and in the war. So for my rebuttal for Jess about the horse manure, you could you could you don't just use horse manure, you can use other you can use other animals Here as I. well. <coughs> so my first point, homeless people. On the streets there are a lot of homeless people and a lot of, and most homeless people they have dogs and they bring, and it keeps them warm. Do you like yes. If you were homeless, then you don't really have any money, so how would you buy a dog if you were homeless? Well if you go on the streets there are loads of homeless people have dogs. So they basically they help but how do they get the money to buy a dog? I don't know, but no if you go Here into the street I. lots of people have dogs. If you look at homeless people they have loads of them. So, because it really, it helps them keep warm, so they can so in the winter they can it helps them like live better. And my second point is police dogs. So if there's not there's the police force, they have dogs, and if there's like in different countries 
do there is like um, like a tsunami or a earthquake or something and they think people are buried then they have sniffer dogs which can basically sniff out if there are humans buried there and they can actually help save lives and my third point is the war so in the war they used to have um, dogs which had, they had bombs strapped to their back and they, what they used to do is they used to put them on the tanks and they basically they used to, the bomb used to explode and then it would basically basically so only people in the tank would get killed and the tank would get destroyed so it would help them to actually win the war and make it better for people so I've said that the because the homeless people it helps them keep warm because of the police dogs they can sniff out um, people and save lives and then because of the war thank you to close the debate as a whole and to finally advance the case for Team Horse, we have Lara, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, this task for you to set horses with the best animals. But first, some of the for Anna. You said that lots of homeless people in the street have dogs, but when, why would you do that? Would you just save up your money so you can try and um, to get a house or get more food and stuff? Yeah. Houses cost millions of pounds, so much money. And I don't think you're gonna get that by begging on the street. So it's worth so people can use the money that they do get to buy a dog so they can support them. I know that, that that then you might have less food supplies, which makes it even worse and stuff like that. Anyway, um my points are the four tractors horses were very useful. My second point in the war, and my third point it's much healthier and fitter for people. My first point, the four tractors. <coughs> Before tractors, horses did lots of ploughing on the farms and fields, and without them, who knows, lots of people could have starved because the, the crops might not have been cut in time, or the food wasn't brought to the farm to make it into food like the ingredients wasn't bought, so it could have led to starvation. My second point. Which information? Yes. They still could have had like meat for animals as well. I know, but you can't just buy the meat. You have to have other different types of things. Anyway, my second point. In the war, they used horses to bring supplies to um, the people who were fighting. Um, they also fought, fought with the horses, like sitting on the horses. No. So who knows? Without them, you might it the, um, Britain might not be like this today. And they also found wounded soldiers, so families um, could know if they were alive or dead. My third point, it gets people fitter because it's a sport. And you might not know, but you have to be really fit to get to um, be on a horse. Because you, firstly, you have to train them, which means running around fields. to get, And also, it takes a lot of strength to get horses over jumps in competitions. Over No. So, I've told you, firstly, the four tractors, secondly, in the war, and thirdly, gets people fitted. So, now you can see that horses were and still are the most important animal ever. Thank you. Thank you very much. What a speech. Well, you've heard speeches on both sides. Do you think that dogs are better or horses are better? I guess it's down for you to decide. Thank you very much for watching this incredibly special debate from St Andrews and St Mark's School. Thank you.